And the fat guy makes a landing. How are you doing this wonderful week? Hey! You tell I just had some coffee? Should stop drinking caffeine. It's not good for me. Right? I know it's not good for me. Um, <laughs> makes you antsy and nervous. Um, always been one to uh, listen to what people don't say rather than what they do. I've uh, said this before many times and even made um, a video about it, about what's going on right now in the world. And uh, it's a neat little term called bodlerization. And that's where you uh, pay close attention to what gets blocked, X'd out, banished, chopped, not permitted to be said. Um, so a lot of people only listen to what people say, and I do that also. have my head on a swivel, but I also listen to what uh, people don't say. Um, you'll notice, and this is not about politics, this is just an observational fact, that uh, certain wings of, oh, like in America, for example, like the Democrats or Republicans or anybody else, they'll all have a talking point and they'll use the exact same words. Literally, this notice, like when someone uses some sort of a term or phrase, they'll all use it in unison. And that would be okay for uh, you know, a particular party of a specific country. But when uh, a lot of people are reading from the same script, like, um, they, and they are using and reading from the same script. Um, the President uh, Trudeau of Canada, Jacinda Ardern of New Zealand, uh, Boris What's-His-Face in England, uh, current U.S. Prez, the Vice Prez video. These videos are out there. They're not like some sort of, uh, you know, harebrained idea that I have. I mean, these are real absolutely real videos from these people and they're all using the exact same terminology using it in the same way they're reading from the same script and that's troubling and the words that they're using um, talking about uh, great reset we need to reimagine the future uh, build back better they're using all of the exact same terminology and these are people that are on uh, far flung far flung corners of the globe when at no other point in time in history that I know of, except for World War II, where uh, certain uh, countries, Western pack countries, were using the same terminology, because they would, and we knew that they did, get together and agree to do certain things, you know, to, uh, to uh, end World War II. They were using the same uh, phrases and the same talking points. Um, the fact that uh, current leaders are actually using these scary talking points is extremely troublesome. I've said this before in the prior video, and I really do mean this, that I really absolutely hope that I'm wrong on this. Seriously, I do. I mean that with all my heart, that, uh, that we're right now in the, in the eye of a hurricane. I don't, I've been in a few hurricanes myself. Kind of fun. They were not scary to me. I thought they were fun despite the damage that they caused. And uh, I don't know if you've ever been in the eye of a hurricane, but I have. It's beautiful. You know, you can suffer all these horrific winds, and then all of a sudden the sky is blue and clear, and everything is calm. It's just dead calm, too. And uh, what's going on right now feels exactly like that. Not only that, I see the next uh, wave uh, coming. Unfortunately, I was talking about Oh, future lockdowns of Indian variant, or they could say UK variant. I don't care what they call it. There is new information that that possibly the the wall of the hurricane, if you will, since we're now in the middle of a hurricane. At least that's my position from all indicated factors. Is that uh, the Sun reported that in Japan, you know, all this talk of overload, new strain, and we need to cancel the Olympics. And I don't really care about the Olympics. I could care less about the Olympics. But there's a, a wave of information coming out of uh, Osaka, Japan, and Japan in general, saying that things are just horrific when everybody's uh, got signs out saying cancel the Olympics, um, which is here, what, in a month and a half, I believe, right? Something like that. Um, 
Something else, too, when I was helping my buddy look for land in Forest Southern Kentucky, we went, uh, we traveled over to Virginia to a Brakes uh, Interstate Park, and the office there was closed, and he called in, he talked to the manager there, and uh, she actually gave him the full lowdown, and my rich buddy was shocked, because all across America, there are, and I've seen this everywhere, when I traveled to Florida last, and it's everywhere, I'm, I'm not exaggerating, that there's help wanted signs everywhere, and people are sitting at home on their butt, literally watching Netflix and playing video games because the government is paying them not to work. I mean, if I intentionally wanted to wreck the economy and I couldn't uh, push, you know, uh, lockdown stuff anymore, then I would wreck it by uh, not allowing, I mean, keeping people from returning to work and that would wreck the business. The businesses are already almost wrecked now that they can technically open they can't open now because their employees don't want to work. It's like, why would I go to work? There are all of these benefits to American workers, and this is a fact. Look it up. And I've seen it all across this country when I drove to Florida and I drove back. We went out there, and the manager of uh, Brakes Interstate Park uh, told my buddy that uh, the words that they have to say, she said, is that uh, they say this to the government, that I'm afraid to go back to work because of because of the uh, the bug. I'm going to use the word the bug. I'm not going to use the, the C word. I'm going to use the word bug. So to keep being paid and to stay home sitting on your butt, you just have to say, I'm afraid to go back to work. I'm afraid of the, the bug. And uh, also, too, looking around, um, I see an enormous amount of people in trauma. They feel like, they look like they have shell shock and PTSD. Here in Lexington, which is, uh, Kentucky is incredibly conservative, but Lexington, by the way, is incredibly liberal, and the governor is incredibly liberal. Um, there is no more face diaper stuff, essentially, in any store now, including the evil Costco, which I despise Costco, but I'll go there and buy some bulk stuff like green beans and tomatoes. So I admit to still going there even though I despise the place and consider the place the devil. There's no face diaper stuff there. And, uh, you know, everybody's, you know, quite pleased at that fact. And, you know, I am also. And I am not a doom and gloom sayer at all. I, I really hope that I'm wrong. But I'm also, too, about 95% certain that we're sitting in the middle of a, in the eye of a hurricane. Um... All of these world leaders, this is not, you know, lunacy or this is not speculation. They are literally all reading from the same script. Made to not all the world leaders, but a lot of them, all the Western ones. Trudeau, Jacinda Ardern, the Australian person, I can't remember the name, Boris, what's his face in England. And most Americans don't know the name of English leaders. Sorry, we just don't. England never makes the news unless it's like something stupid Prince Harry says. So I forget his name. Um, Trudeau, our current president, the current vice. Um, I heard a lot of really disturbing news just yesterday from a person living in Chile. I, I don't want to repeat what he told me and what's going on in Chile, but it's kind of unbelievable. I thought, of, of all places, Chile, in South America, unbelievable. I, I don't want to repeat what he said. I've yet to verify that, but I mean, I have no reason to, to doubt him. Here's something else that someone made mention to me, and it's a psychology of evil people that, that are working off of an evil plan. And I really mean this, um, is that evil people, and history bears this out to be true, evil people have a, a good spark within them. They're, they're a super self, they're Atman, I don't care what word to use, that wants to tell you, and they do, quite often, the evil that they're about to do. And uh, they say this outright, and the reason why they do it is that if you don't speak up against it and about it, then they figure you're okay with it. I really, really want to repeat what I just said because it's incredibly important, and history does bear this out in many instances. 
Evil people will flat out tell you the evil that they are doing and or are about to do because it lifts their... Con well, I, I said what I'm going to do and I'm not getting any pushback from it, so everybody must be okay with it. This is their higher self within them that's leaking out. Evil people, and James Bond movies actually make fun of this. Other movies have made fun of this. Where evil people, like they'll have James Bond on the table and they spill out their evil plans. <laughs> it's kind of funny, um, but it is the psychology of evil people because even evil people, they have within them and the purity of their higher self. However, it never makes manifest usually, and of course this is why they are evil. But that part of their higher self does leak out and tell people what it is they're going to do. And they really do convince themselves, well, since I told everybody what's going to happen and I've got no pushback, they must be okay with it. And that is really, really important. On a final note, and I don't need to say this, but I mean this with all my heart, that, and I hope I'm wrong, I really, really do mean this, I really hope I'm wrong, that we're in the high of a hurricane. I hope everything keeps getting better, and, um, you know, things open up more and more. But, uh, if, and I'm 100% dead serious on this, if and when, and I suspect this before the end of July. If and when, roughly about that time period, and it doesn't matter if it happens in August or July, I don't care. When it happens, if it happens, that it is announced that in some part of the world, and of course it always starts in some part of the world and it goes all over the world, that there will be a new strain, a new lockdown, like, oh, it's even worse than the first one. I tell you right now, I will move so quick. I will move faster than grease lightning. I will move crotch out. It's a southern saying. I will move crotch out fast as hell to hoard, um, I believe I'm telling you this, to hoard uh, non-perishable food. I will move like grease lightning. I will spend what little money I have, 90% of it probably, what little money I have on uh, non-perishable uh, foodstuffs, I will move faster than Grease Lightning because to me that is 100% absolute confirmation that what I feared but I hope is not coming, and I mean that, I really do, that I feared and I hope is not coming has actually landed and uh, you know a great reset has been um, is uh, kicking in. I will literally move so fast your head will spin. My head will spin too. Chance favors the prepared mind and uh, if that happens that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Doesn't mean I'm gonna vanish in the dark woods somewhere. Well it might. <laughs> um, there has never been never shall be and never could be a downside uh, for being uh, contingency prepared. Uh, diversification and redundancies. Uh, redundancy is God and diversification is angelic. And uh, being prepared is saintly. Um, and I don't mean those people like on that National Geographic uh, TV show, it's called Preppers or something. They show the most crazed wackadoodles just like doing nutty stuff. This guy's a prepper. Just, and I've seen a couple of those shows and it's just like, wow, these people are insane. It's, uh, it's ridiculous. I hate to use that word. Kind of like I almost don't like using the word metaphysics, because if you go to a bookstore and you go to the metaphysics section of a bookstore, it's just a bunch of new age nonsense. Crystal rubbing, wackadoodle, um, lunacy. So I use the word metaphysics in videos all the time, but I mean genuine metaphysics. I don't like to use the word Buddhism either, because if you look up Buddhism on the internet, you'll see nothing but a bunch of uh, 
New Age morality stuff, which is completely unoriginal to the liberation ontology of original Buddhism. So I don't even like to use the word Buddhism. But anyway, that's a bit divergent off topic. But I will move fast as lightning if there is announced whatever part of the world, because if it starts there, wherever it is, here, Japan, oh, new lockdowns. This one's worse than ever. Horrible. You know, lock down your children, schools are closed, we're closing down everything again, even more so than before. That will be the sign. That will be the absolute sign. And I will move so... The fat, tattooed monkey will move fast. I'll actually move... I'll move faster than fast. I tell you that with 100% certainty. No ifs, ands, or buts. Like, what was that? Oh, that was uh, the tattooed monkey. <laughs> so, anyway, I read every comment. I'd like to know what uh, you think, and especially, too, specifics, not generalities, but specifics about what's happening, happening in your part of the world. I love reading the comments. I love keeping my head on a swivel. Because you can't get information via the Internet or the news. The news is the worst. I don't watch the news. People are liars. They're filth mongers. All they do is lie to you. Nor am I an irrational alarmist. I am definitely not that. If, any, if you even think that I am, then you don't know me at all. You don't know me, of course, but you definitely don't know me. I'm not an irrational alarmist in any way, shape, or form. Facts, logic, and wisdom, and rationality, and calmness above all else. So let me know what you think and specifics about what's happening near you. Lux Everitas. As they say in the South. Peace out, Girl Scout. <laughs> Thanks.